Hi guys, it's Tim again with Real Southern Exposure. Welcome to another episode. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to cut up some more pine into uh, two by six, 16 foot. Uh, cut two logs up for you. Real quick, before we end up getting into that, let me go ahead and show you uh, the progress we've made on the dust collection. Okay, as you can see, we ended up making a lot of progress whenever it comes down to this thing. Up top is where the blower system is going to be in the cyclone feeder, along with the suction intake that I'm going to end up drilling a hole from the mill house over here to the dust collection house. Uh, in the top of the dust collection house, there are vents on both sides that I've put mesh across so that way birds and stuff can't get in there, but at the same time, it has enough uh, vent in there to where it can decompress the inside. Uh, down below, the chute is going to come from right in here. Um, there is a 18 by 18 hole in the floor for that second level and that's where the chute and the cyclone is going to end up cyclone collection is going to end up being and it's going to be dumping in down here in the bottom into a 42 inch by 42 inch um, box basically with three walls on it and a set of hinges uh, so it can have barn doors on it and uh, so I can use it to take and dump directly into um, people's trucks. So let's move on to today's logs. Okay, with today's logs, uh, the first log we're gonna end up doing, uh, this one up here, it has a 12 inch on the big end and 16 foot down the log is uh, the small end, which is roughly, roughly around 10 inches, a little over 10 inches. Um, I got to cut these up into two by sixes. These are very old logs. They've been on the yard for a while. Um, and I need to get them ran before they turn into dust. Uh, so I anticipate I'm probably going to run into some carpenter bees. Um, and quite possibly uh, pine beetles. We have a lot of pine beetles here. The second log we're going to run is this one right here. It's uh, 14 inches, a little better than 14 inches on the butt end. And on the small end down there is uh, right at 12. So uh, same with that. I'm trying to run as much of this stuff as possible. I got a customer who needs two by sixes and he wants uh, uh, really off grade, low grade lumber. I guess he's using it to take and do uh, um, stalls or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so my first deal with this first log up here is it has a pretty significant bow of probably about three inches so if you were to make it level there's a gap it's a three inch gap from the bottom of the log to the deck bunk um, so i have that thing rolled slightly uh, at an angle to where i can split that gap up between uh, both sides of the log so why don't you grab yourself a glass of sweet tea kick back relax take in a little more southern exposure the blade we're going to be running is a 045 double hard turbo 7 made by woodmiser currently 74 degrees with winds out of the southwest at nine miles an hour this time of the year is kind of eerie because we go from needing a jacket in the morning whenever we're feeding livestock to uh, t-shirts in the afternoon so getting ready to roll in the spring so that's what to expect i guess The cooling media I'll be using today is off-road diesel. The reason why I use it is because it is an excellent lubricant for the blade. Keeps the pitch off the blade. Keeps the blade cooler. It almost doubles the life of the blade. And at the same time, it keeps all the pitch and gum off of the B57 belts that are on the blade wheels. 
So if you're not running diesel and you're cutting pine or any kind of sappy type of lumber like spruce or uh, even cedar sometimes, then uh, I highly recommend you switch. over the age of 18 be a subscriber and leave a message down below the message doesn't have to be anything substantial it can just be an emoji a period whatever i just need something that time stamps your name with uh, a video during that month there fellers now that we ended up getting that log done uh, how about we go outside and look at some of the wood let's do it so we got a total of five pieces of two by six 16 foot out of that one log and then I have two slabs or flitches that need to be edged as you can see this stuff don't look too bad for been sitting up for about a year. Right in there we got a, uh, that right there is a pine beetle hole. There's a pine beetle tunnel. And other than that, I mean the stuff looks pretty good. Well I think he is really gonna like his lumber he ends up getting out of this stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that other log cut up see what's inside it. It's like Christmas every day. All right, let's take a look at what we got so far. Then I'm staining in there. That's some pretty nice looking stuff. Got a little bit of a, where a pine beetle made a, a burrow. All that stuff got cut out. So that wood is not really looking too bad. It's looking really good. We got two more flitches off of there um, and we still got to stand this up and get some boards out of it which I'm thinking we may get five to six boards out of this so all in all this may turn into a pretty good deal so let's go ahead and get this thing stood up and start cutting in the rest of the way up. All right, fellers, let's check out some of that wood we just got cut up. All right, this is on the mill still. A lot of denim staining in there. This stuff is quite old. It's been out there in the yard for a while. Not bad looking stuff, though. And these two outside pieces right here on top or two more that was cut up.
on top of that, we also got two more flitches on the ground. So all in all, that one log produced, uh, once I get these flitches edged off, that one log will have produced eight two by six sixteen. That's great. All right. Now I do not make a whole ton of money off of selling this off grade, uh, farm grade lumber. However, it does pay the bills. It pays for the fuel, the blades, uh, pays for everything, my time. So, and it helps them out. So I can give them a pretty decent quality material at a lower price uh, to try and help them around the farm. So with that said, uh, I hope this video has been educational to you. I hope you learned a little bit. hope you liked it. Uh, if you would, please go ahead and hit that like. Subscribe if you ain't already. And uh, share this video with a friend. We do appreciate it. So, with that said, we'll see you on the next video. And God bless.